looking for what comes next, for that moment when everything finally... One minute! Whichever path you choose, it starts here. Please welcome home, Em and Khan. So my recruiter is uh, Staff Sergeant Andy Vo. Uh, he's on Harlem uh, recruiting office. I found him through social media because um, I was trying to like get into Air Force probably for two years, but I can really get into touch with a recruiter that who could really help me out the way I wanted, the thing I was looking for. So when I first talked to you, I'm like, okay, I finally found my guy. I mean, like. This is what I was looking for for the whole time and yeah, that's why I got in here. And the reason I joined here, I think there's a lot of reason if I be honest. So like basically yeah, people say for medical benefits, the education yeah, is like one of my top priority. But I came from a very strict culture, I'm from Bangladesh. So in our country, and I'm a Muslim, in our country and in our religion, a girl being in the military, I think it's like a taboo. Like people like, oh, you cannot do that. We should be in a, in a home and do just regular jobs. And I really wanted to kind of um, put a barrier to that, like, um, what do you call it, to opinion. I wanted to do something better for my culture and to show people like, hey, it's okay for women to join military, even if you're from this culture, even from like our like religion. And um, my grandparents, both of my mom's side and dad's side, they're in army in Bangladesh. And my dad was a freedom fighter as well so i think it was in my blood and i'm the youngest daughter of my parents so they always babied me they always put me to like a good discipline um mannered well situation or i have i'm very well mannered person but i feel i needed to get off that shell that my parents always put me in and i wanted to be independent and um you know like the experience the world like all of you guys so that's like one of the reasons that i joined what's the job process and what is your job um, so i remember like the recruiting process wasn't easy like for me i'm not saying like it's like a hurt for everyone but it's like a, a very long process because i was having some my own personal issues that i had to deal with but I, even until this day, I'm grateful. I'm truly appreciate your time because you gave me your like effortless time for me because I failed twice for my ASVAB test. And then you still had a willing to work with me and then made my journey more smooth. So yeah, in that case, it was kind of hard for me to struggle and then find my way. I finally passed my test in my third time. And then uh, based on the score, like I had a bunch of job, but I don't really remember my list that much. But all I remember, I got one of my uh, top third job, so which was public health. Um, I love my job. I like it. At first, I really had no idea what public health is. I wanted something like medical administrative job. So that's why I put it there. When I search about it, I'm like, oh, okay, I think it sounds like fun. But when I went to my tech school, the tech school is like pretty challenging, uh, if I be honest, but I like enjoying the material. Like I learned so many stuff that I never knew that it really like happens. Like during the COVID, one of the big part that um, our public health department could to prevent the COVID-19. Uh, so we, we uh, work all of that, how to prevent diseases and stuff like that. We work with the community. So our main role is to like educate people about their health and stuff at a uh, Delaware Dover Air Force Base. Luckily, also I think somehow I always get lucky because that was my second choice on my dream sheet. What's your advice? Mm, I'll say it's a, a very challenging long journey. It can be smooth if you're motivated and determined enough. Just don't give up. Trust me, I had so many situations and uh, when I was in the BMT, I was like, am I regretting joining here? Like there's so many stuff like people tell you they're scaling just don't take it personally and do not give up trust me you feel you want to give up but by the time when you'll graduate when you'll get the coin in your hand you like feel that so just make sure that don't give up you feel challenges right but i'm like if you're really not working hard what's the point of getting something so easily and smoothly like that you don't have any story to tell about you don't have anything to feel proud of so just don't give up what are you waiting for apply now by clicking the link on my bio